Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to do the zigzag diamond stitch. And the diamond zigzag stitch, I guess either way. It's it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you'll have, no, have to know how to do some double crochet by togethers and regular double crochets and things like that. But it's actually really, really pretty. It makes a unique fabric. Look at that, that's cool. Um, it looks the same on both sides, pretty much. Um, and it is just a two row repeat. I think this would work well. Make a beautiful wrap, beautiful scarf, beautiful blanket or throw. Um, it would make a great top, pretty much anything you wanted to use it for. So do you want to go ahead and get started on it? There it is. It's really neat. All right, let's do this. As always, I want to ask you not to forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn the notifications on so you never miss any of my videos. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy my tutorial. So for the purpose of this vi uh, this stitch here, uh, the yarn I used was Lion Brand Landscapes. It's just a medium uh, number four, 100% acrylic yarn. And the color that I use is called Harvest Moon. It's a very, very pretty color. Of course, you can use any type of yarn that you want, any size of yarn that you want, because I'm gonna give you the multiple of the stitch. That way you can make it whatever you want. And for, and for uh, learning and tutorial purposes for this, I use the size I, which is a uh, five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so this stitch is done in a multiple of 10 plus 9, which means that your beginning chain needs to be evenly divisible by 10, and then you add 9 more to your base chain. So however long you want your project to be, whether it be a blanket or a scarf, a multiple of 10 plus 9. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and start out with row 1. And we're going to put two double crochets in the fourth stitch from the hook. So we don't count the one that's on our hook. And we go one, two, three, four. And in that fourth stitch, we put two double crochets. So there's one. And there's two, like that. Now we're going to skip three stitches. Okay? skip 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 so skip your three and single crochet into the next and we're going to chain one skip one and single crochet into the next that and now again we're going to skip three stitches skip 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 and in the next stitch we're going to do a shell which is five double crochets into the same stitch so you skip your three stitches and in the next we're going to work five doubles all into the same stitch so there's one two three four and five now we're going to kind of repeat that again by starting back here with our single crochets. So again, we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. And in the next stitch, we are going to put a single crochet. And then we're going to chain one, skip one, single into the next. This first row is probably the hardest one because it gets kind of twisty. And then we're going to skip three again. One, two, three. And in the next one, we're going to work a shell. So we're going to work five double crochets into the next stitch. Now we're going to repeat again. 
So we're going to start off by skipping three stitches. One, two, three, and we're going to single crochet into the next. Going to chain one, skip one, so skip one and single into the next. And we're going to skip three again. One, two, three, into the next. We will work a shell, five double crochets into the same stitch. And this is what we're going to repeat for row one. There's five. So again, we're going to skip three. One, two, three single into the next chain one skip one single into the next skip three one two three and shell into the next so we're going to re repeat this pattern until we get to the last five stitches of our row Okay, I've made it to the, my last five stitches. So I just did a shell and I have five stitches that remain. I'm going to skip three and I'm gonna put a single crochet in each of the last two stitches. So skip three and put one single crochet into the second to the last and one single crochet into the last. And that will end row one. Now we're going to start row two. Now rows two and three are the repeat rows for the entire stitch. So it's a two row repeat. So for row two, we are going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn our work. Now we're going to work a double crochet, two together over this next single crochet and the first double crochet of our shell. So we're going to yarn over. We're not going into this very, very first stitch. We're going into the next stitch, which is that single crochet. Go into it and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. And then we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, which is the first double crochet of our first shell, go into it, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. You'll have three loops that remain. We're gonna yarn over and go through all three loops. So that's how we start row two. Now we're gonna begin our repeat. So we're gonna chain three. One, two, three, like that. And we are going to put a single crochet into the next stitch. And we are going to chain one. And we're going to skip one, which will actually be the center stitch of our shell. So we skip that one and a single crochet into the next. Like that. And then we are going to chain three again. One two, three. And now we're going to do a double crochet five together over the next five stitches. One of them, one of them will be the chain space. So we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, which is the last double crochet of that shell. Draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Now we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, which is a single crochet. Drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Now we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the chain space. The next spot is the chain space between those two singles. Yarn over and go through that space, draw up a loop, and then yarn over and go through the first two loops. Then we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, which is a single crochet. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. 
yarn over and go into the next stitch which is the first double crochet of our next shell drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops and you can count and see that we went one two three four five we went through five stitches you should have six loops on your hook and we're going to yarn over and go through all six loops like that and then we're going to repeat we're going to start by chaining three one two three and we are going to put a single crochet into the next stitch chain one and then we're going to skip one which is actually the middle stitch of this shell here so skip one and single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to chain three and now we're going to work our double crochet five together so we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch which is the last double crochet of that shell drop a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook and then we're gonna yarn over and go into the next stitch which is the single crochet drop a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and now we're going into the chain space so yarn over and go right through that chain space drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over go into the next stitch which is the single crochet drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops and we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch which is the first double crochet of our next shell drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops six loops remain yarn over and go through all six and then we repeat by chaining three one two three and single crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one single crochet into the next and then we do our chain three and a double crochet five together again now we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the last uh double crochet five together and that's where i'll meet back up with you okay i just did my last double crochet five together and i have two stitches left here at the end so i want to make sure i chain three after that last double crochet five together and then i'm going to put one single crochet in each of the last two stitches and that will end row two Now we're going to start row three by chaining three and turning our work. Now we're going to put two double crochets right back here into the very first stitch. There's one. And there's two okay so now we are going to put a single crochet into the last chain of this chain three so see this chain three here one two three we're going to put a single crochet into the last chain of it and we're going to chain one and we're going to skip this the stitch that connects the double crochet five together and we're going to put a single crochet into the last stitch of this chain three here like that and then we are going to skip the rest of the chain and we're going to find our chain one space right here in between these two singles and we're going to work a shell into that space so i'm going to yarn over and into this chain one space between those two singles from the previous row i'm going to work five double crochets so there's one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, four, and five. And I'm just going to repeat. I'm going to work a single crochet into the last stitch of this chain three. And I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to work a single crochet into the last stitch of this chain three, I guess, going this way. So right here. I guess it could be the first stitch of this chain three. But anyways, this chain space right here of this chain three. Like that. And then again, we are going to find our chain one space. So we skip these chain spaces. And right here is our two single crochets from the previous row. There is our chain one space. We're going to work a shell right into the space. So we're going to work five double crochets. There's one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay. Now we're going to repeat again. We're going to work a single crochet into the last stitch of this chain three. Chain one. And then we are going to work a single crochet. I guess it would be the first stitch of this chain three. But right here it's kind of tight. But right there. So we're skipping, you can see this double crochet fly together where it meets. We're skipping that single crochet there. And now we're going to work a shell into the next chain space. So in, that's in between these two singles right here. And this is what we're going to repeat. single crochet into the last stitch of this chain three and then we chain one and single crochet in the first stitch of this chain three right here it's really tight we don't go into the top right here we need to go right here in this really tight chain space and single crochet into it and we're going to repeat this pattern It's so tight there. There we go. And then we find our next chain one space in between these two single crochets from the previous row. And we work our shell. So I'm going to continue this pattern until I work my last shell. And then I'll meet back up with you. All right, I just worked my last shell. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a single crochet into the last chain of this chain three. And then I'm gonna single crochet into the last stitch. So it's the top of this chain three here. So I'm kind of skipping this little spot here, this double crochet two together and just single crocheting and it's through the top of the chain three space. And that is how you end row three. Now it's just a repeat of rows two and three. And you continue that until you get it as long as you'd like it to be. And I will put timestamps below uh, to the beginning of rows two and three. So you can just click on those and it'll take you back to the beginning of row two and the beginning of row three. Okay, and after a few rows, it'll start looking like this, and you just keep going in two and three, two and three, two and three, until you get to your desired uh, length, and that's how you crochet the diamond zigzag stitch. Now, I would uh, just, I would, I mean, it's not really anything you have to do, but I recommend ending on a row uh, that doesn't have the chains there. See that? So, a, a row... Uh, to repeat is what I would end on. That way it's, uh, 
you don't have these chain spaces hanging here at the top but you can do it however you like so that's it i hope you enjoy my tutorial remember just don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and um come follow me on instagram if you'd like um and you can show me anything that you crochet or whatever you make show me some yarn i'd like to see it all you can hashtag me at bag of day crochet and i'll see you on my next video okay thanks everybody for watching take care bye bye guys